basically, I'm going to talk about the Power Features Lab. The Power Features Lab is a research unit that is housed within the business school, and it focuses on research on energy on the African continent. Basically, we have three main uh, areas. The first one being research, and uh, we have three key research fronts that we look at. Then we also offer executive education short courses, including this one that we are going to, 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 to host. On the third front, we participate or uh, apply ourselves to advocacy activities involving our sector reform and governance. We look at energy poverty and accelerating investment on the African continent. The unit is headed by, was started and is headed by Professor Anton Eberhard. I know probably most of you have heard about Professor Anton Eberhard. He has done excellent work around the continent and uh, uh, globally. He's a renowned academic, he's, but his, his CV is quite compelling and insightful. He's done marvelous work on the continent. Vikas Kruger, who is the research lead and course convener for the, for the finance course, finance contracts and risk mitigation course. Vikas is uh, about to become a doctor very soon and uh, he reads research on power sector investments. Uh, that's looking at IPPs, auctions, and Chinese investments in, in, in Africa. And then next to me is, uh, we have three new PhD candidates. Na Ajekai is, a PhD, is, is researching Chinese power investments in Africa, trying to understand how the Chinese uh, financing of investments takes place on the continent. We have Bukir Wanzimande, who is researching about energy democracy and distributed energy generation. And then Christine, who is also researching distributed energy generation and power sector reform, trying to understand how the changes in the distributed energy resources and uh, breakthroughs and renewables are causing transformation in the energy sector. Uh, we have Dr. Martin Rodriguez, who is a renowned economist and chief consultant at Adoc Consulting, based in Argentina. He will be assisted by Hayden Palisa, who is a, a lecturer at Yale and Columbia Universities, and is a principal at Pivotal 180 one of the platforms that we'll be using as a resource uh, for the pre-recorded materials that we'll be using. We'll have uh, uh, the, the, the anchors that I've mentioned, uh, mentioned already, Martin and, and Hayden. We'll also have a blend of South African uh, lecturers who will give case study-based experiences and modeling simulations around what is happening in the African uh, electricity sector. As a background, what, what, what motivated the Power Features Lab to start offering this course? So we noticed that utilities really on the continent, uh, they continue to impose a substantial fiscal burdens and continued liabilities on, on governments and consumers. If you look at South Africa, the debts that ESCOM has accumulated, uh, as all the bailouts that have come through from, uh, to, to cover its uh, shortages, revenue shortages and, and debts, it's quite uh, a mouthful. So regulators on the continent and uh, utilities they do not implement tariff methodologies consistently. As a result, uh, electricity tariffs are set at levels that are rarely high enough to cover the full cost of service delivery, even when the cost of service is very low. That's a big challenge. So there is a need to look at the rationality and, and appropriateness of the tariff design and tariff methodologies uh, so that we are able to derive tariffs that are cost reflective, and, but also ensure the financial sustainability of the investors that, uh, that put in money into the energy sector, as well as the financial sustainability of the utilities and municipalities that are operating in the energy space. We also have, of course, the breakthrough of renewables, uh, self-generation, self uh, embedded generation, IPPs, and prosumers who are also trying to understand the kind of tariff setting mechanisms and how that benefits them in their different categories. So the course will be spread over the two weeks. And the first week will mainly cover the conceptual principles and theories. Uh, and of course, those will be blended with the financial modeling. So in the second week, we'll go to the actual tariff de design and tariff uh, determination. So we look at the cost allocation uh, principles that are involved and see how that will be demonstrated. We try to use the goal-seek 
functions to determine tariffs and see what costs would be required to determine particular tariffs. And uniquely, we have in the second week particular uh, uh, special sessions dedicated to the South African energy sector uh, that will be, these, are, these will be optional, but they are dedicated to the South African energy sector. And this is where we'll be having uh, our experts from the South African energy sector present case studies and teach some of the simulations that they run in offices that you never actually get to see or you never get to understand. This is how your course program is structured. Uh, we'll have a preparation day. This is, will be on the 16th of August, basically to run through a dry run to get a sense of how ready you are, uh, navigate the GSB online portal and answer any questions that you may have, but also for you to pre-read or to pre-watch these videos that we've put here. So it gives us a sense to understand whether you've been able to, to access those videos and watch them. Then on the 23rd of August, we'll start uh, at 12 noon and we'll be taking that approach throughout the entire week up to the second week. You'll notice that the, the second week is where we introduce the <clears throat> South African case studies uh, with an extra one hour session. Basically, this uh, shows you the preparatory says these videos that you have to watch uh, a self study at your own convenience. Anytime you're at home, you can pre watch the videos and the reading materials. And these afternoon sessions between midday and almost uh, 3 p.m., they will be having our live online lectures. And we'll have the 30 minutes QA tutor sessions in the South African context uh, sessions will come in, in the second week. This course is applicable and has been designed for regulators, policymakers, and ministry staff uh, who are involved in the energy space. Utility executives who want to understand how to reverse or turn around the, the challenges of financial modeling and utility tariffs in their utilities. The directors, managers, and staff of utilities can attend. Electricity industry practitioners in public, in public and private sector, engineers, accountants, DFIs, uh, multilaterals and bilaterals who want to understand how utilities that take on their loans actually treat these financing uh, arrangements and debt covenants into their tariff and pricing models. Uh, we only need people who are interested in the energy space or have some experience in the energy sector. Uh, then we will be able to filter and see who actually would qualify to attend. But I think we largely leave it open to even uh, activists and, uh, and government organizations or non-profits that are interested in energy space and are playing in the energy space. In the meantime, you can follow us on Power Features Lab. We have a Twitter handle at Power Features Lab that you can follow for any, follow us on for any other additional information. Thank you.